34. Which of the following expressions is equal to 3 for some value of c? Now, it's important to understand that the absolute value of an expression cannot be negative. So the lowest it can be is 0. 0 or something more plus 5 will never equal 3. If we set the absolute value of c plus 2 plus 5 equal to 3, if we subtract both sides by 5, let's see what's going to happen. We're going to get the absolute value of c plus 2, which is 3 minus 5, or negative 2. The absolute value expression of anything will never give us a negative result. It can either equal 0 or give us a positive value. So therefore, this is not a true equation, which means we could eliminate answer choice A. Now looking at B and D, they're very similar. We have an absolute value expression plus 5. So just by looking at that, we could eliminate B and D. Now let's see why C would make sense, because this is the only one that we can actually solve. If we set the absolute value of 2 minus C minus 5 equal to 3, we'll get an answer. If we add 5 to both sides, notice that the absolute value expression is equal to a positive number. 3 plus 5 is 8. So as a result, we can solve it. To solve it, here's what you need to do. Whenever you're opening the absolute value expression, set the inside equal to two things, 8 and negative 8, because the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. And then solve. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 2. Negative c is equal to 8 minus 2, which is 6. And then if you multiply both sides by negative 1, you'll get c is equal to negative 6. So that's one possible answer. For the other one, we're going to subtract 2. Negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10. And then divide by negative 1. So c is positive 10. Those are the two solutions of c. So therefore, answer choice c is the correct answer. There is some value of c that will give us 3. And those values are negative 6 and 10. 35. Using the equations shown below, which of the following is a possible value of y minus x? So let's solve the two absolute value equations, and then we could find the answer. So for the first one, we're going to set x plus 2 equal to two things, 7 and negative 7. Now let's subtract both sides by 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. So we have two possible answers for x. x could be 5, or it can be negative 9. Now let's calculate the possible values of y. So we have y minus 3 is equal to 4, and y minus 3 is equal to negative 4. So let's add 3 to both sides. 4 plus 3 is 7. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So the possible answers for y are 7 and minus 1. Now, let's evaluate the expression y minus x. But let me uh, make some extra space here. So y could be 7, and when y is 7, x could be 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. That's one possible answer. Now, when y is 7, x can be negative 9. So we have 7 minus negative 9, which is 7 plus 9. That's 16. So far, we have two possible answers. None of these are listed yet. Now, let's see what happens when y is negative 1. When y is negative 1, x could be 5. So we have negative 1 minus 5, which is negative 6. Another possible answer. Or, when y is negative 1, x can be negative 9. 
negative 1 minus negative 9 is the same as negative 1 plus 9, which is 8. So this one is the one that's listed. Therefore, e is a possible value of y minus x.